RN, your world unfolding. My name's Bruce Parker. I live straight opposite where the accident happened on the Pacific Highway. We were in bed about five o'clock in the morning and uh, we just happened to hear the bang. Jumped out of bed and there was just carnage across the road. The mighty bang, the first bang when it hit, when the truck hit the ute. And then uh, we just looked out the window and just saw the truck heading towards the house across the road there and down into the next one. I had my daughter here from the Gold Coast and uh, she was in the back bedroom and she heard the bang and jumped up and looked out the window and she saw the truck heading towards the house. We jumped straight out of bed, my wife jumped straight on the phone to ring triple O and I rang straight, r run straight across the road to uh, where the ute was, it was nearly straight opposite our place and I just looked in there and there was no, no hope for the, for the driver. Uh, you know, he was just, just sitting there, no blood or anything like that, so I'd say he'd be dead straight away. Just chaos, you know, people just running everywhere. Uh, people, the next door neighbour here, they had uh, a daughter over there, was living over there, and they got knocked out of bed when the truck hit the corner of the big, the big house over here. How does it feel now when you look across the road and you see that it's in that derelict condition? Oh, shocking. The whole thing's an eyesore over there. Should have been knocked down ages ago, you know sort of sitting there like that. People just comment to me and that about what an eyesore it is driving past. And also I guess it's just every day you look across it's a constant oh, yeah. reminder of yep. those days. Yep, definitely that too. We just sit there and think what would have happened if the um, the truck hadn't hadn't went that side, would have come this side, hit this house on the bottom side of us and there was nine people living in that house that night and I'd say the whole nine would have been killed. <laughs> 